The Sterling Harmony H224 audio interface. That's what we'll be talking about today. This is a affordable, inexpensive audio interface. It has a lots of really cool features. A bang for the buck, if you will. If you're new to the channel, I have hundreds of videos about music stuff, music production, all kind of stuff like that. I have a bunch of additional resources in the video description below. There's a link for a video producing a song using only stock plugins and Logic Pro. If you're interested in that, I'm also producing a whole album using only samples from Splice that will be coming soon. So please subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified of the one that comes out for the audio interface we'll be talking about today. There's some download pages. And also I have a bunch of other videos if you're interested in music production. There's a bunch of different courses here that I did reviews for Ryan Tedder, Kygo, Blanks, all that stuff. And the master classes as well, Timberland, St. Vincent, Carlos Santana's, just to name a few. But anyways, let's get into this. All right, so this is the Sterling Harmony H224 audio interface. It is an inexpensive option and a bang for the buck in that. Let's take a look at some of the features here. So on the front panel, we have two inputs for instruments, either guitar, bass, even keyboards and stuff like that. We got the headphone jack on the outside here as well, on the front, I mean. And then we have a pad switch if you're using like a drum machine or a keyboard or something that's uh, more powerful than a guitar instrument or whatever, or bass. And then we have a 100 hertz high pass switch here. So anything under 100 is gonna be cut off. Maybe you notice it in my voice, maybe you don't because it's kind of hard to tell on voice, perhaps and whatever speakers you're listening on. And then we have, of course, the input here for the input of my microphone that I'm using right now. Make it a little loud there. And of course, the indicators, LED lights here to indicate, you know, yellow, green, red. And then on the back panel, we have a phantom power. Let me flip this around. We have the, uh, the phantom power, which I'm using right now for this microphone. We have two uh, inputs for mics, either XRL or quarter inch. And then we have a mic and line switch here as well for each mic, and then we have a fan of power. And then we have four outputs for speakers, so you can have two different sets of speakers going at any time here. And then we have a MIDI in and out, and then the USB connector to the computer. Now this is powered by the computer as well. You don't need any additional adapters or anything, so if you're using a laptop or desktop, it works on Mac and PCs. Um, and before we get to the top panel here, so what I mentioned, that it does come with some software as well, Bitwick Studio, a track thing here, and then it has a 30 day uh, trial of Stephen Slate's, uh, or Slate Digital, all access pass as well, 60 different plugins. Now I got these two cards with mine on their website, there is another torpedo wall of sound, guitar stuff, so you might wanna check that out on their website. Contact them to see if they can get that one as well, because I didn't get the card for that, but on the website it says that one, maybe I got it out. They just updated or something, I don't know. Now this is also, this is a Guitar Center brand, so it's available at Guitar Center, a musician's friend, and any of the other, I think Woodwind and Brass or something like that, maybe as well. But you could check online or you could go to Guitar Center, your local Guitar Center, check it out. Of course, there's an owner's, owner's manual that comes with it that you could read through. There is software for your Mac and your PC that control it from your computer. Um, I didn't install that, I just plugged it right in, started using it right away and maybe I'll get into that in a different video, but they do have software that you, so you could uh, do the configuration stuff on top here. So here's a cool couple of other cool features here. Um, we have different outputs. Uh, obviously I don't have any speakers connected in right now, but this is like a continuous wheel, which is pretty cool. You can just keep spinning it, either volume up or volume down. And then we have different outputs here. Uh, one and two, which would be one stereo pair the headphones and we have a mute switch here too right here as you can see it's muting right there so if you want to mute something while you're recording or listening back you have that option as well we also have a direct out as you can see here's here's the technical notes on that this allows, allows you to route your input signal with the playback streams from your computer or DAW so you can monitor your input signals without any latency there's some more technical notes there that you can read about so some pretty cool features. Again, the um, high pass filter. Everything's kind of like nice to the touch, if you will. I mean, I'm hitting it kind of hard. You don't want to... <laughs> That's why you hear the clicking so much. But, so yeah, really cool bang for the buck kind of box here for your audio recording. 
very portable. It's not too heavy. It's really high quality built. It's like durable. This part seems like metal. This might be plastic on the front here. No, it seems like metal too. I'm not, but it's pretty durable. It has a lot of really cool features. Like I said, it's definitely a Bancroft bug. I like how it has two outputs for speakers. Um, and then the MIDI in and out, which is cool because I have some other audio finish faces that don't have the MIDI and don't have, you know, extra ins and outs. It's just, you know, the sizes like this, obviously, not the bigger ones. But so pretty cool. Um, I'm going to do some other reviews of it, the sound stuff from different video. But you can check it out. There'll be links in the video description below. That is all for now, and I will talk to you soon.